Jazz Barrett from uh, freesaloneducation.com. We're going to go through right now and do a finger wave set on our model, Adriana. This is just something that's really coming into play, I think, especially for the holidays coming up. With a lot of holiday parties coming up, people are coming in, they're not necessarily wanting an upstyle or something like that done with their hair, but they want it to look party ready. So this is something really easy that I know you can really add to a blow dry bar or something like that if you wanted to make it a little bit fancier, especially for the holiday season coming up. So we're just going through, I power dried her, put maybe a little bit of a mousse or a blowout spray in her hair and we're definitely using a wand with this. Now the wand that I'm using, you go through and you have larger at the top and smaller at the bottom. You can do it having one using either way. If it's a cone or a rod that's smaller at the top, it's okay. It's just going to give a little bit of a different definition to the curl. So I'm going through each section right now and I'm going horizontally slight diagonal back, but I'm wrapping it around making sure that you get that curl nice and taut to the wand. And you wanna go through and make sure you set it with a pin curl, not disturbing the curl too much from what it is with the wand. And then just clipping it back up. And it's pretty simple. If you have, you know, even an assistant in the salon power dry somebody for you, you can go through and get this done in 10 minutes. It's a really simple, easy upsell. And you just saw right there as I brush the wand with the front and back on that section, that's just to get those little baby fine hairs that you might not be able to get into the wand around it. You wanna make sure that they're nice and smooth and nice and sleek because this kind of wave section, because it is a finger wave section after we brush it out, you're really gonna to wanna to see the uniformity of the curl. So you wanna make sure all the curls are being curled in the exact same direction every time that you're going up through each section. Like I said, it's a slight diagonal back sectioning starting either on the heavier side or the thinner side, it doesn't matter. I would start in the front of this section though, in the front of the head actually, I mean, at the front of the section, just because you wanna make sure that's where all that wave, that's where a lot of people, you're seeing a lot of celebrities come in with a vintage set or a vintage updo, you wanna make sure that's where the definition is, right in the front of the hair, especially that's what your client's gonna see. Now as we move to the back section of the head down near the nape, it's a little bit skinnier. It's not as wide of a section right now, so I can just take one big curl. As you move up the head, you wanna make sure that you are splitting it in half. You're gonna see in, I believe this section or the next section, I am gonna go through and split it. But always making sure that, like we did on the sides, that it's all uniformed. Another thing a lot of people really sometimes do with a wand is they tend to twist the hair too much before they're wrapping it. You wanna make sure that this hair for this kind of set is nice and sleek. You don't wanna twist it and wrap it up. Before you do, you just wanna wrap it around the wand nice and smooth so that when you go to brush it out and take out all the pin curls and all the sectionings that you have something nice and smooth with their hair. And it is really important to use a lighter hairspray when you're doing something like this. You can go through at the very end and use a thicker hairspray, maybe a firmer finish to the spray. But when you're setting it, I always find in this kind of set, you don't want to add any extra wave to the hair. So sometimes the clips that somebody uses, I wouldn't use any of those claw clips that have any teeth on them, either a pin curl clip or a nice flat clip. I would go through and do for this sectioning. I always like to clip on the right hand side. I am right handed. If you're left-handed, it may be a little bit different. You may want to clip on the left-hand side, but keeping the clips uniform, just like we did the curl, is gonna make it easier to take it out afterwards. And you still wanna make sure that each section going straight across in the back section is completely together. That even though you're doing maybe two to three different curls in each section straight across, that they are the exact same width up and, and length up and down because that's gonna give it the uniformity as we brush it out. And this is something easy, you know, you can do. A lot of girls are even coming in for prom saying, hey, I really want, I wanna wear my hair down, but I want it to be a little bit different because I wear it straight all the time and this isn't something that I can do for myself. But you can have them come in if they buy the tools at your salon, teach them how to do some of this to their hair. 
because everybody's a walking billboard and you want them to be almost as good as you do it as if every day that they walk out of their house just as if they walked out of the salon so that people will say how'd you do that to your hair where'd you get that done I want to go have that done so same thing wrapping and pinning on the right-handed side now we like to set the curls like I said we set them from the beginning just to make sure that they are cooled off in that circular curl pattern we want to make sure that the curl pattern set into the hair so even somebody I know myself as a stylist I don't have curly hair I have very fine pin straight hair for the most part so but even going through and doing this on my hair I can get a nice wave in it because I'm going through and setting the hair I'm letting it curl I'm letting it take the formation that the wand gave it and the wand that I'm using it does not have a temperature gauge on it but I wouldn't really go above anything above 400 if your wands do have a temperature gauge or a curling iron this kind of set doesn't work as well with a curling iron I find you need something that has a little bit of diversity in how wide it is on each side like I said in the beginning of the video you can have something that's a little bit shorter at the top or smaller at the top and bigger at the bottom where mine's bigger at the top smaller at the bottom so it just really depends on which kind of wand you want and the wave just might be a little bit different from how it's gonna come out the way that when I do it but they're still gonna be nice and uniform and give you that finger wave effect and in the top sections right there right at the crown of the head and above you almost want to make sure you're over directing it slightly so that you do get a little bit of volume in the back you don't want this to be so slick and smooth to the head now as I just finished the set I'm going through with a firmer hairspray right now because it's the it's the final set and you want to make sure that those pin curls are set where they need to be so now you see I'm just gonna go take some of those sections out right now but I'm starting taking it out where I started curling that curl has had the most time to just sit so you want to make sure that you start where you started before and when it comes to this kind of curl I still don't want to disturb it too much before I go in with my brush and brush it out after I take out the whole set I just hold the very end of it and kind of pull it and almost shake it a little bit just to loosen the curl not disturb it like I said just loosen it so you you know it's shaking itself into that formation it's feeling where it wants to lay it's the same thing as when you do a haircut where does the hair want to lay where does it where is it going to go so you kind of can see that pattern in the hair already taking shape and where you're going to want to go with it as you go to brush it out and then spraying again very lightly with a working spray right now just to get any of those little flyaways those little wispy pieces now you're going to see me go through I'm using a teasing brush you can go through with a dressing brush I would use something that has a little bit of a softer bristle and I'm brushing just straight back you're not taking out this because you have the the softer bristles you're not going through and taking the curl out you're brushing it out making it nice and loose you're forming it into the universal finger wave set that you really want it to and you're gonna see me go through with the tail of my comb and a little bit of hairspray some shine spray as well is what I use actually right there just because when I go through and I'm just back combing into the crease of the finger wave you really want to make sure it's defined in the finger wave and you can go through I know as a stylist I like to use my mirror a lot so when take a step in front of that person if you don't have the mirror in front of you or if you just really want to get a bird's eye view from in front of them take a step in front of them see what it's looking like make sure it's to the uniform you want you can push your hand right into that crease and really separate it when you go through with a firmer hairspray you can get a nice defined shape if you want it a little bit higher a little bit more volume right at the part line you can do that as well just because you go through and do all that work with the curl you still want it to see that it's a little bit looser in the back right there because that's where the most most of her hair is so it's going to be a little bit looser of a finger wave but that's why we started it in the front like I said and sometimes on those on those ends if the person has maybe somebody comes in that has a little bit of you know they haven't had a haircut in a while 
then I would say maybe go through and tease a little bit of that. That's a style. That's something that's really in right now, teasing the bottom of the hair if you have a vintage style, making sure that it still looks uniform, but it's almost a messier put together look, if that makes sense. And again, brushing it out, making sure that those front pieces, because our model does have a little bit of a fringe, so you're just brushing it to make sure that the fringe lays right in to the rest of the wave, especially on the heavier side. The heavier side is always gonna be a little bit more defined. And there you have our model Adriana with her finger wave set, and she's ready to go to a party, ready to just go out for the weekend. And thanks for tuning in, guys, and tune in for more style videos from freesaloneducation.com. Thank you.